Hey everyone, I just wanted to make a quick video about a potential replacement that I found for uh, front coil springs for the Series 3 Jaguar XJ6. Um, mine particularly has a LS engine, uh, so it has some reduced weight in the front compared to a usual stock XJ6. Um, I am replacing the springs uh, because I had to chop, drop the subframe uh, to do some maintenance work in here. I uh, had to rebuild the steering rack, go through and replace the lower control arm bushings, uh, and a few other items. So while I was in here, I thought it'd be a good time to take a look at the springs and see what kind of shape they're in. Um, these are original springs. Uh, the car year is 1984. Uh, I have every reason to believe that they're original, and obviously they're a little worse for the wear. Um, you can see these are pretty corroded uh, with paint flaking off. Um, this car was kept off the salt, uh, off the salty roads here in the northeast. Um, however, you can tell by just some of the corrosion that, um, you know, moisture and, and all that did its uh, work, took its toll on it. So, um, I've had a bad experience in the past with a spring breaking uh, due to corrosion and uh, tearing up the suspension and a tire. Um, so not worth it to, uh, to risk that, um, even from a safety standpoint. Uh, you don't want that collapsing on you. Um... I don't know that there are commercially available springs that are easily accessible. Um, if there are, maybe through the usual Jaguar channels and parts distributors, I'm sure they're pricey. Um, as I mentioned, I did want to replace them um, just due to the fact that the engine is swapped uh, and there's a little bit of a height difference um, due to the lighter weight in the front. So what I did was I went online and I looked at the Moog Spring Catalog. Um, this is something that is a pretty good resource. There is a pretty detailed catalog uh, by part specification, so you can basically filter by um, spring wire diameter, uh, overall height, compressed height, um, more importantly spring rate, and some general dimensions like OD, ID, that kind of thing. Um, so what I found was a set of springs, I believe they're for a 2001 to 2012 Ford Escape uh, front coil spring. Um, part number is a Moog 80657. Um, these have a very similar dimension to the factory Jaguar springs. So they have approximately a six and a quarter inch OD, um, about four and seven eighths inch ID. And the resting height is just about 11 inches, uh, which is about an inch shorter than the factory springs. Um, again, that makes sense just because my engine is, or my car rather, is lighter in the front end and therefore would ride a little higher. So that'll work to uh, lower the car. Uh, so the plan is to just install them straight up um, with no uh, spacer or anything in the spring pan or in the bottom of the subframe where the spring nests up into. Um, we'll see what that does for height and what it looks like. If I need to go through and possibly raise the car back up a little bit in the front, I can always add some of the nylon uh, coil spring spacers or packings as they're called and see what that does for the ride height. Um, one of the nice things is that you're able to fine tune the ride height on these cars pretty easily in the front, uh, just a matter of compressing the spring a little bit, um, securing it, and then you're able to uh, space out the pan as needed uh, to adjust that ride height. So I uh, just wanted to share with everyone that, um, you know, we'll see how these springs do. I am not quite sure how different they're going to be in terms of ride quality. I believe the factory Jaguar springs are 375 pounds per inch, and these Ford Escape springs are 400 pounds per inch of travel. So slightly stiffer. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to be noticeable in terms of harshness, um, I'm thinking not. Um, my car rides a little bit stiffer just because I've got upgraded or uh, newer upgraded shocks. Um, I can't even tell you what brand they are. KYBs, I think. Uh, yeah, KYB gas charge. So we'll see how it does. I'm going to throw these springs in once I get a few other things uh, buttoned up and um, we'll go through and uh, see how they ride. <laughs> 